and lovely. So sit yourself on a block or a cushion. You can always sit yourself up against the wall if that's more comfortable. First thing in the morning, your body might not be prepared to sit in a cross-legged position. Good. Take a breath in and lift the arms up above your head, welcoming in our day. Bring the hands to your heart. Inhale, circle the arms up. And exhale, drawing back in. One more inhale. And exhale, and then you can send the arms out in front, just with the, the palms flat against each other. Open the arms and then bring them up above your head. And bring the hands back home to your heart. Good. Breathing in, send the arms out. Breathing out, open the arms. Breathing in, lift them up above your head. And breathing out, back to your heart. Lovely, one more time. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breath in. And breath out. And then rest the hands on your lap. So just igniting the breath, waking up the respiratory system for our day ahead. Yeah, just notice now how you feel. Use this time to check in with yourself. Is there any strong sense of physical being? Is there any strong sense of emotion? Building a picture of how you are this morning and taking this pause to reset, to give us time to bring some focus, some clarity for our day ahead before we throw ourselves in with that to-do list and a million things in our mind. Feel the ground beneath you. Be aware of your posture, of your spine, your shoulders. Balance between uh, sukha and sthira. Steadiness and ease. Breathing in, navel rising. Breathing out, navel falling. And with your next exhalation, take the chin down to your chest. Breathing in, lift your head. And breathing out, raise the chin. Breathing in, come back to the center. Good. Turning your head to the left. Turning your head to the right. And then back to center. You can open your eyes now. Take the hands away from you, the fingertips just touching the ground. Lower the left ear to your shoulder. Breathing in, lifting up to neutral and down to the right side. And breathing in, come back to the center, bring your hands onto your lap, palms face down and move your body around in circular motion. Starting to move the body, starting to wake up. To shift stagnant energy and to encourage greater flow 
in lightness of being. Change direction now. Breathing in, moving forward, breathing out, bring the chin down to your chest. And then come back to the center. Good. And then just take your feet out and come off your cushion or your block and lay yourself down on your back. Bring your knees into the chest, hands over the knees. Mm. And then circle the knees, one hand on each knee, keep the feet together. Change direction. Lovely, raise the feet, circle the ankles. And opposite direction. Good, and then just stretch the left leg out, bring the right knee in to your chest. And then let go and switch over legs, stretch out the right leg, really stretch through the heel. Pressing as much of the leg down into the ground as possible. And then again, switch over. And switch. And switch. And switch. All right, so um, bend both knees, bring the soles together and let your knees Hang out to the side. Good, so not pushing your knees, not trying to get anywhere that your body isn't ready for. Just allow them to hang. Try and get the shoulder blades on the ground. Relax your back. And then lift the left knee and continue to move the knee over to the right side. So now both knees are over to the right and turn your head to the left. Be mindful that you keep your left shoulder still on the ground. And then looking up, raise the left knee, let that drop out to the side and bring the right knee up and over. Turn your head to the right. Lift that knee, let it drop over to the right. Good, continuing now from side to side. Turn your head to the left, lifting up, dropping down, lift the right knee. And then come back to the center. Placing the feet on the ground, knees pointing up. Bring your arms closer in to your body now. Now press the spine down into your mat and raise your arms up as you breathe in. And bring them back down as you breathe out. Just connecting to the core now. And again, lifting the arms up, pressing the belly back to the spine. And exhale, drawing back. We'll do that one more time. Breath in, hear the breath at the back of your throat, and breathing out. Now leaving the arms where they are, start to raise the hips and the spine away from your mat in bridge pose. Good, and breathing in, roll the spine back down. If you can, bring the feet in, just a little bit closer. Exhale, lift the hips. And inhale, rolling down. Exhale and lift. And remain here now. Just squeeze the knees together and then release. Squeeze them together. 
and release. One more, squeeze, release, and then lower the spine down. Okay, take a breath in, relax the shoulders. And then place the right ankle on the top of your knee. Just use the right hand to move the knee away, the thigh away. Flex your right foot as well, the toes. And then if you're able to pick up the, the left foot, then you slide your hands through and hold on to the back of your thigh. If that's not possible, just keep the foot down. If you have raised the foot, stretch the leg up to the ceiling and then bend the knee and stretch and bend. Beautiful, one more. Just feel the muscles tightening and stretching on uh, the back of your leg. And then place the foot down. Good, release the right foot. Bring the left foot on top of your right knee. And we'll place the hands behind the thigh. Stretching the leg. And bend. And stretch. And bend. And stretch. And bend. Lovely. Release the foot. Bring your arms down, bring the heels in nice and close. We'll take bridge pose again, again. Uh, another variation, lift the hips. So from this high point, you're gonna drop your left hip and then drop the right hip. Now lifting the left hip higher again and the right. Again, the left side drops down, the right side, Lift the left and the right. Now go back the other way. Drop the right hip a little and the left. Raise the right and left. Drop the right and left. Right and left. Now go back the other way again. Drop the left, right. Lift the left and right. And one more on the other side. Drop the right first, the left. Lift the right and left. So welcome back to your glutes. Good morning glutes. <laughs> and roll the spine down. Bring the knees into your chest. Rock out a little side to side. Okay, lay yourself on your side. And Let's rest the head in your hand. So that doesn't work for your neck. You could put a cushion under your neck and just bring the arm out. Or if you've got a shoulder that doesn't like to be in this position. All right, make sure the legs are straight and lift the top leg. Good, lowering down, a bit of resistance in between. Lifting. And lowering. Try not to bash the bottom leg as you come down, maybe just hover. Another couple. And then bend the knee, stretch it out. And lift, good, tuck in, stretch out and lift, tuck in and then open the hip. Now unfold the leg and down, tuck in, open, lift 
and down. Tuck in, open, lift, and down. One more. Okay, so now bend both knees. We're going to stretch the top leg in front, swing it in front as far as you can, and then return it to that original position in line with your hip. Swing it forward and back. Forward and back. Three, two, and one. Good, stretch both legs out. And now lifting both. And now lifting, try and keep the ankles together and try and lift the bottom leg up to meet the top. Engaging, lovely, lifting. And lift. One more, lift and hold. And then lower both feet to the ground. Bend the top knee, land it in front, and we'll raise the bottom leg now. So the foot and the knee are on the ground. Lifting the bottom leg, which is free now. The shoulders. Three. Two, one, and hold. Point the toes away from you and then flex. Point, flex. Point, flex. And then lower the leg. Uh, stretch both legs out and then lay on your front in Sphinx pose. Mm. Going on, powering up for the core now. Bring your chin down to your chest. Draw the navel in, like zip the ribs in, and then draw the hips and the thighs away from the ground. Resisting with your tailbone. You don't want to be sticking your bottom up like that. You want to be using your core strength to lift. And then release. And look forward. Exhale, chin down to your chest. Good. You're drawing in and also it's down in the in the elbows so that you're getting the sense of spreading the shoulder blades and then release. Three more. And then lay the ribs down. Mm. Slide your hands back so the palms are flat underneath your shoulders. Make sure the feet are together and the toes are pointed. Inhale, lift, raise the ribs. And exhale, release. Inhale, lifting. And exhale. And in, push back, bring the knees in a little, I'll take some cat cow, so chin down to your chest, spreading the shoulder blades, arching the spine, inhale, roll the hips back, exhale, <clears throat> and in, and exhale. 
and inhale. Good. So raise the left arm, lift it up, and then sweep the arm through to the right. Breathing in, lift the arm. Breathing out, looking to the right. One more, breath in. And out. Bring the hand down. Raise the right arm. Exhale. Breath in. Back out. Breath in. Breathe out. Yeah. Bring both hands onto your mat now. Tuck the toes under. Down facing dog. Bend one knee. And then the other. Some nice, slow, long breaths. And be long in your stance as well. Nice space between the hands and the feet. Give the head a little shake out. And then bring the knees down. Yeah, and work your hands back so that you're coming to a squat, a toe squat. Bring the hands onto the shoulders and you can circle the elbows just to massage the shoulders to ease out. Good. And then let's work on the other leg. So lay yourself down on the other side. Lifting, top leg. And release. Good, lifting and lowering. More. And then bend the knee, stretch it out, lift, up in, stretch out, lift, and then open the hip, unfold the leg, tuck in. Open, lift, and down. Tuck in, open, lift, and down. Oiling the joints, sending more blood into the joints, into the ligaments and all the tissues. Lovely, one more. And then rest the legs. Bend the knees, tuck them in towards you. And then it's the top leg that swings forward and back. Forward and back. Three, two, and one. Well done. Stretch both legs out. 
and lifting both. Release, lifting both. Good, also waking up your core, the oblique muscles here on the side are activating. A lift. And lift. And lift. Last one. And lower down. Good. Bend the top knee now. Make sure you haven't sort of collapsed forward. Hip still wants to be <coughs> high. And then raise the bottom leg. You keep the foot flexed, that will keep those, the inner thigh muscles engaged as you lift. Nice and high. Controls as well. Don't try to yank the leg up. It wants to be a smooth lift. And then hold here at that highest position, pointing the toes and flex. Point, flex, point, and flex. And lower the leg down. So now lay on, laying on your front again. <clears throat> Come back to those sphinx rolls. So we'll practice six. I'll practice them with you. So as you exhale. Drawing the ribs in, peeling away from the ground. <clears throat> Inhale, unrolling. And carry on on your own now. Making this the last one. And laying yourself down. <clears throat> so let's bring the arms down by your side now and turn your head onto one side. As you breathe in, you're going to raise your head, your arms, and your legs. You can look down to your mat. Exhale, turn your head the other way. Inhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. X. And in, and exhale. Sliding the hands up towards your ribs. <clears throat> Returning to Cobra, inhale. And exhale. <clears throat> inhale. And exhale. And in, push back, raise your hips. Returning to cat cow. Down facing dog.
And then looking forward, you're going to step forward to the front of your mat. Pressing down in your feet, unroll the spine. Yeah, raising the right arm in front of you. You're going to turn to the right, turn the palm away from you. Bring the arm all the way down in a big circle. Raise the left arm, turn the palm away from you. And then the right arm goes back the other way. So turn the palm away from you, lifting up and back down. Left arm, turn the palm away, lift up and back. Very nice. So raise the arms in front. And as you exhale, just let everything drop. Let the arms drop down. Breathing in, looking forward, lifting up. And exhale, switching off. Again, inhale, lifting up. Last time. Place the fingers on the, on the mat now. Step your left foot back. Bring your knee down. Great. Place your left hand where it is and move your right foot out to the side. Yeah, lean the knee out. Bring your toes back in and your hands underneath your shoulders. Take the back knee off. Good. And um, stretch the heel backwards and forwards. Lovely. And then you're going to take a big step to the front of your mat. So push off the back foot, coming forward. Inhale and roll the spine. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, take a forward fold, bring the fingertips down, send the right foot back, bring the knee down. Move your foot off to the side, leaning the knee out and twist. Bring the foot back in, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Take the back knee off the ground and move forwards and back, shifting weight distribution. Lovely, now you're gonna step back to plank. Bring your knees down to the mat. Take the hips back a little and we're gonna to come to Cobra. So you're going to bend the elbows and dip the chest down. Now come down as low as you can and move forward at the same time. And then lay your thighs down. Inhale, lift to cobra. Push back, down facing dog. Bringing the feet closer together, raise the left leg behind you, dog tail. Exhale, tuck the knee in, move the shoulders forward. And then place the foot back again, down facing dog. Send the right foot back. Exhale, tuck the knee in. Good, place the foot back. Now taking the left leg off again, we're gonna step forward to warrior one position. Big step forward and angle the right heel. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, lifting up. Bring your 
bring the arms down, stretch the front leg. Yeah, let's take the arms behind. Can you interlace the fingers? Can you find your hands? Squeeze the shoulder blades together, root down in the heels, nice and tall, move the ribs forward, open chest. And look forward, bend the front knee and lift the arms. Bring the palms together, then the elbows. Yeah, we're going to shift the weight forward, taking a warrior three pose. Let's send the back leg up and behind. Of the toes pointing down. And then place the foot back again. Inhale, lift the arms. Take a step forward here. Push off the back foot. Come to the front. Take the weight on the right foot. Steady the eyes in front of you. And lift your left knee. Mm. Keep the foot flexed. Keep lifting the knee. Place the foot down. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right foot back. Step the left foot back. Bring the knees down. Lower chin and chest. Travel forward. Inhale, lift the cobra. Down facing dog. Raise the right leg behind you now, dog tail. Big step forward to the front. Angle the left heel. Inhale, raise the arms. Soften the shoulders. Yeah, try and get the back heel down and have a bit of left and right space of your hips. Bring the arms down and stretch the front leg. Uh, this time, hold on to your elbows. And then roll the shoulders back and lean into your arms. Looking forward, bend the front knee, lift the arms above. Arms together. Warrior three variation. And that's it. And the hands pressing together. Think about a long flat spine here, lengthening through the crown of your head. Place the foot back down. Inhale, lift the arms. And take a big step forward. Good. Take the weight on the left foot. Raise the knee. Place the foot back down. Lovely. Hands on your thighs. Forward fold. Stepping the feet back. Plank. Bring the knees down and fold back to child's pose. Inhale, raise your head. 
And sit down on your bottom, bring your legs out in front of you. Bend your right knee and let the knee drop out to the side. You can sit on a cushion if you find that helpful. Hands on your, on your knee and you're going to slide the hand down towards your foot, squaring up the shoulders. Breathing in, a little half lift. Breathing out, softening in. Breathing in. Breathing out. Folding, sliding the hands back up, stretching the right leg out. Bend the left knee. <clears throat> Drop that out to the side. And exhale. Send your hands down towards the foot. In. Breathing out. Breath in. Breath out. In, lifting, raising your spine. Lovely. Bend both knees. Take your hands behind you and lean the knees over from side to side. Slowing down, stopping and coming back into a seated position, Sukhasana, where we began our practice today. Take a breath in, lift the arms up above your head. Lovely, bring your hands into your heart and just taking a moment to pause before you move on with your day. Bringing to mind one thing you are grateful for right now. Acknowledging the feelings they evoke, warmth, light, love, yeah, all of those emotions, sensations. Using that love and that light to shine bright today, to fill yourself and to emanate that light and love further afield. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.